Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to an exciting FIFA 22 video. If you're a fan of the A-League or any Australian, you are aware of at least my local team, Sydney FC. And you know what? Let's take him out of the A-League. We're going to put Sydney FC into the Premier League. We've switched him out for last place, Norwich City. And we have given them a billion dollars. Well, a billion pounds because, well, this is the Premier League. And in England, they like to use that sort of currency. But... We have put Sydney FC into the Premier League. This is going to be a post-commentary. If you guys couldn't already tell, I was going to do a live com, but then I realized this video is going to take forever. So this is going to be a short one today. We are basically just going to throw a bunch of money and we're going to fix this Sydney FC team. It's only going to be the one season. And we have decided to pretty much overhaul the entire score. We've got a billion dollars, so money's not an issue. However, this being one season, we're not going to go and try and sign a bunch of youthful players like Ansu Fati or Bellingham or Kamavinga. We're out to try and win now. And ladies and gentlemen, how do you prove we're out here trying to win now with your billion dollars? Then going after the best player of all time. That's right, he's better than Messi. Heck, he's even better than St. Maximan. We're going after Cristiano Ronaldo. And the good thing is, we're gonna. this is pretty much just setting the tone for this video. We're going to be go going after a bunch of high-rated, oh, highly rated older players who are coming towards the end of their contracts. Because they're going to be cheaper and much better value, especially if we're only doing this for one season. But guys, before we go any further, we've been hitting 30 likes consistently on every single video I've been dropping. So let's go hit that again. But you know what? Stick around the end of the video because you know what? I might have a little wager for you guys, but let's get into this. We're trying to sign Ronaldo. We're not even screwing around. We got enough money. We've got that Saudi money. We got Newcastle United sort of money. But hopefully you guys that are the footy fans enjoy this. I know a lot of you probably do watch the A-League. I personally don't. So if, I, if you get butthurt, I sell your favorite Sydney FC player. Just know I replaced him with a guy who could actually win a Premier League game. But there he is, Cristiano Ronaldo in the Sydney FC shirt. Don't think you'd ever see that. Actually, a lot of you guys probably just do that. And going into another signing, I went this guy because Barcelona are in the mud. If you are out, they had to sell Lionel Messi. And this man, Dembele, has been linked with teams like Newcastle. So we're going to go in after him. We're not even going to screw around. A lot of your FIFA YouTubers will be like, bros, I've got to get the last say in the negotiations. Mate, these other managers are screwing me over. And I'm just throwing money because I've got all the money in the world. Look at the rang daddy. The Rang Daddy is going to throw money at everyone. So that's why we're going after Dembele. Sorry if you guys are full-on soccer fans or footballer fans. Because I don't know the correct terminology. But now we're definitely getting some good attacking weapons. And we've got Ronaldo. And we're going to link him up. With not the Barcelona winger we'd love to see Ronaldo play with. But another one. And it's the right winger anyway. So Dembele is coming to Newcastle United. And we're throwing a bunch of money everywhere. We're going to be signing the former Chelsea cam, Oscar. No other name. His name is just Oscar. He was there a couple years ago when they went on that run and won the Premier League. I think it was Chelsea's last Premier League victory. But we bring him back to the Prem to try and get him another bloody trophy because that's what we do. We want Oscar. I know an Oscar. He's an all right bloke. But we're getting him out of China. We're bringing him to Sydney. And he's going to have to make the commute every single weekend to England. And if he doesn't want to do that... Well, then he could say goodbye to all this money. Look at that. And he still wants more. But you know what, Oscar? Here you go. Look at that. I'm just throwing money at everyone. But, yeah, our attack is definitely looking good. I'm basically not going to show you guys every single transfer. Because otherwise, we'd be here all day. Because this video did take me like two and a half hours to make. I was sitting here through FIFA's absolute chaotic sort of stuff. But we're getting into another signing. We're going after one of the best keepers in the world, Navas. Donnarumma's just gone to PSG. Therefore, he is available. We're going to pay so we're going to pay overs for him, is what the correct terminology is. But you know what? He's worth it. He's going to deteriorate so much. But I did bring in that Vandervoort, Martin Vandervoort, I think his name is. I just won't lie, guys. I looked up best potential goalkeepers in FIFA. And I signed him because I can. I got a billion bucks. Anyway, our first game in the Premier League, we do lose 4-2 to Liverpool. But here is the team. Guys, this is what I spent my time building. Let me know. Is it good? Is it bad? In the comment section below. But the beautiful thing about having a billion dollars is 
you can pretty much rebuild a whole team and still have a bunch of money left over. And not only have we got Ronaldo from Man United, but taken one from the other team of Manchester. We're going after the best Premier League player. We're going after Kevin De Bruyne. Because he's also sort of a ranger, and I won't lie. I probably would have gone Bruno Fernandes, but Kevin De Bruyne is a ranger. That makes him better. Is he even a ranger? Let me know in the comment section below. But we're going up to Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah, I'm not even going to argue. Mate, you come to Sydney FC, I don't, I don't blame you. you you've got to want to come. I'm losing track now, but this is a beast. I'm going to drop Camavinga to the bench. Drop Jones for Kevin De Bruyne. What a team, folks. This is the team we built. So, guys, you can fix any sort of soccer team if you do have a billion dollars. Look at that. Outside on Darling Harbour, in front of the Opera House. Just that big Sydney FC sign is blocking it. But we have built an absolute amazing squad. We basically couldn't sell we couldn't sell anyone though. Understandably. All our players were old on sons of money on the wages, because the A-League wages aren't actually too bad. We're able to sell a few players, but we basically just rebuilt our our first eleven and our bench, and then we have a couple of depth players, and the rest of the squad's gonna be taken up by Sydney FC players. But here is the entire squad. Bunch of rejects. We have a couple of decent plays in the reserves. But halfway through the season, we are sitting in a Champions League spot. However, you guys are aware, this is one season. I'm not interested in that. I want to win the whole thing. We currently are alive in the FA Cup. And in the Carabao Cup, unfortunately, we got knocked out by the other Saudi Arabian run team. Because this Sydney FC team definitely has some Saudi influence. Hex, why we have so much money. But here are the stats at the halfway point of the season. Surprisingly, no one else is getting involved, but unsurprisingly, Cristiano Ronaldo running the show, getting all the goals, and look, I've pretty much missed it. We're going after Neymar. We're linking up Ronaldo and Neymar. Neymar Messi reunited for about six months, but we've got like 200 million still. We've got a billion bucks. We're going after Neymar. We're going to have Neymar and Ronaldo linking up with Kevin De Bruyne. I want to win the Prem. I want to win the Prem with Sydney FC. The only thing holding us back is having to commute to England every week and midweek because we've got bloody FA Cup. But I want to win, boys. I need this title. So I hope you guys understand. We're going to sign Neighbor to a fat contract and hopefully that's going to give us the edge. We're dropping St. Maximan to the bench. Yeah, that's right. I even dropped the goat. That's how good we are. We have the best player on the bench. We have Neymar and Ronaldo and De Bruyne. Look, we could have probably used a better defender, but hex hindsight. Look at that, folks. We've spent over 300 million pounds on Neymar and De Bruyne. Incredible, incredible. We still have 100 mil. Granted, we're not going to use it because there's no, really no way to improve the squad. And Oscar does go down with an injury, though. So I probably could have bought a bit more depth because he's going to miss three months. But going into the last game of the season, unfortunately, the Premier League is gone. Liverpool have wrapped that up, but we're still going to play a game. You guys can't watch a FIFA 22 video without any gameplay. So here we are, the big Sydney FC bus. We've gone from the beautiful Sydney International Airport. We probably just stop in Abu Dhabi, relax ourselves, and hop back on another plane because we're going up against Tom. Actually, no, this is Stadium Australia. So, Tottenham have come in. They're the ones who've stopped in Abu Dhabi. But here we go. Here is the entire presentation. And in fact, I may as well shush and let you guys listen to what a Premier League intro to Sydney FC sounds like. Conclusion, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It's Sydney FC up against Tottenham Hotspur. Well, what a season it's been, Derek. We've seen everything. Drama at both ends of the table, some spectacular goals, and plenty of entertainment. The players, of course, will be looking forward to a break now, but hopefully not before they give us a good game today. Oscar, number 18, Osman Dembele. Number 13, Cristiano Ronaldo. And number 10, Neymar Jr. The initial 11 today for the hosts. Kaylon Navas begins in goal. Presnel Kimpembe plays alongside James Tarkovsky in central defence. And the starting role in attack is handed to Cristiano Ronaldo. And now they get... First attacking chance. We're going to try and get the ball off Son. But Son's like, Brazil's going nowhere. They're going to go back. They're going to have a shot. Deli Alley goes over the top. 
And he wishes he could have that one over. But here we go. In front of the Blatchy Blues. You know what? They're Blatchy Blues. We're playing it around. De Bruyne. We've got to take it on. Try and go for it. But the keeper, Lloris, goes, oh, you know what? I've got that covered. But there's the main man, Cristiano. No, it's Oscar. I'm a bit far away from my screen, guys. So I do apologize if I get the players mixed up. Because I want me mic to sound good for you. But we're just trying to hold, hold the footy. Try and create an attacking chance. Because... Long shots in this game are OP, but I've gone for the big cross, which hasn't worked out. That's a beautiful sliding tackle. If you guys don't slide tackle and give away minimum six yellow cards in a game, do you even FIFA, bro? Do you even FIFA? But now we've got the ball. We're on the counter attack. We've got Dembele, who's got such good pace, and he's going to go right down the wing, just like the New South Wales Blues wingers used to do. Young Akili Uate. I can't believe out of all the wingers who have played for New South Wales, I've said Akili Uate. But you know what? I do love you, Arte. Here we go, though. Ronaldo, he's just going to take it off his weak foot. And you know what? Honestly, every time you hold down a circle, even with Ronaldo, and this is legendary difficulty, it's going to go in. The goat does goat things. Look at that. Did you ever think you'd be seeing Oscar, Ronaldo, De Bruyne and Dembele in Sydney FC shirts, let alone on the same team, but all in Sydney FC shirts? It's amazing. It is honestly simply the best. Nah, I can't steal that. The footy's got to have something. The Premier League's got all the money in the world. But look at that. Lloris can't do anything against that. Cristiano Ronaldo opens the scoring up. 1-0 over Tottenham. Oscar's going to put the kick in over the top after the next set. Oh, my God. What's going on there? Sanchez says, buddy, just said to Lloris, you know what? I hate you. Lloris has put on a pretty good save here. Should have buried that, but... Sanchez is going to run into the back of the net. Because, why not? Thank you, Sanchez. I know a lot of these Tottenham players, but I do do a Tottenham career mode. Because, you know what? They're so bad, I want them to win. Even though I'm a Newcastle United fan. We're going to whip this in. Should have buried that one, too. A lot of missed opportunities. And little Puppy, that's right. His name is Little Puppy, our manager. Very disappointed. That's a pretty poor cross as well. As we're going to winding down towards the end of the first half. Only a minute added of added time. Is that the correct terminology? I don't know. It's football. It's not footy. It's football. But we're going to go in with a comfortable 2-0 lead in the final game of the season. But guys, this is what I'm going to ask you. If we hit 50 likes, we're going to be playing another season. I'll make another video. And instead of titling it, Sydney FC in the Prem, we'll title it Sydney FC in the Champions League. We'll see what Season 2 budget brings. And we'll try and improve the team. And we'll try and win the Champions League as well as the Prem. So let's hit 50 likes. We haven't hit 50 likes in a while, especially on a Fever video. So let's try and smash 50 likes. But here we go. Down the sideline. He beats him. Keep going. Neymar. He hasn't gotten involved too much, Neymar. But look at him go. He's got good pace. Like a young Tommy. He's fucking just going himself. That was pretty dumb. And you know what? Now the ball's just ricocheting everywhere. We're going to another long shot. And De Bruyne, that was so close. Before the patch, that would have gone in. Anyway, Navas has done... I have no idea why he did that, but he makes up for it. Thank God, Navas. What were you thinking, like? What were you thinking? We're going to make a sub. And hopefully that doesn't cost us too much. We're taking the Burnley-born boy off. Is he even Burnley-born? Oh, no, that's where I bought him from. Don't even know his name. He's just linked to Newcastle. But Navas pulls up another save with a big star on him. They also sponsor the New South Wales Blues. We're trying to get the ball here, which we do. Oscar's got it. He's looking for someone. We're in behind De Bruyne. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And he stuffed it. Anyway, hopefully that doesn't cost us too much. Tottenham with a free kick. Going to get the ball back here. Does Harry Kane. They're going to whip it in. Poor clearance. And they're going to score. Well, that adds a twist to this game in the final 10 minutes. Of course, it's Son. Son and Harry Kane, both two of the best players in the world outside of Tommy Travoy, which I'm sure would destroy in the Premier League. Maybe we put Tommy in the Prem. I know he used to play AFL. Maybe we put Tommy in AFL Evo too. Guys, you know what? I'm happy to take your video suggestions as I try to kill time before the next bit of gameplay as Tottenham now. All we have to do is defend once more and we're going to walk away with the dub. But they're in behind. Some poor defence. Oh, they've done me. He's done me. New uh, Tottenham, not Newcastle. Buddy Son has evened it up. It's going to be two all at the end of this game. We have lost it, ladies and gentlemen.
We have lost it. I guess our position on the ladder is not going to change. We're still going to finish third. Disappointing, though. You can't tell me it's not disappointing, ladies and gentlemen. You can't tell me it's not disappointing. Wow. That is actually really disappointing. Why will I not stop saying disappointing? Anyway, that is going to be the end of the game. Oh, no, it's not. We're going to have to defend here. Otherwise, it might be over. 37 yards out. They're going to try and whip it in. We get rid of it, though. And we're not even going to have time, are we? Maybe we're... No, 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 no. Ref says bras. Nah, that's it. You guys choked the 2-0 lead. Well, that is not the way I wanted this video to end, but we had some fun. It was fun doing this, giving a team a bunch of money. I hope you guys enjoy this. I know it's different. We do finish third just behind Manchester City. Liverpool did win the league. Unfortunately, though, Brentford, Newcastle and Watford got relegated. So unrealistic. The, Carabao, the FA Cup sorry, ended where we showed last time. Chelsea won the FA Cup over Bournemouth in the end. And Liverpool win the Champions League, meaning they did the double. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Here are the end of season stats. If you want to see me play another season and use New Sydney FC in the Champions League, let's try and hit 50 likes, guys. I know it sounds bloody unrealistic, considering this is FIFA. And I'm a footy expert, not a football expert. And I'm not even British. I'm an Aussie. So if you are a soccer fan watching this, I apologise. But guys, thanks so much for watching. Do subscribe. Let's hit 30 likes at least. But 50 if you want to see Sydney FC in the Champions League.